What's up, Capricorns? You can have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, north note. Cross watchers, you are welcome. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. Somebody could have been um, stealing some type of inheritance from you with this sudden wealth, okay? Um, you could have struggled for a long time. You could have went through some things um, after dealing with energies with death and poverty, after dealing with energies that were just trying to take from you. And this could have been going on since you was a child, okay? But something is coming to an end. We have the coffin. Something is completely over. So if you was experiencing any type of hardship, that is over. Okay? You was dealing with a lot of rats, snakes, people to pretending to be on your side, people pretending to have your best interest, and they did it. Some type of great fortune, um, two and six, bring it down to an eight. Some type of abundance is being released to you. Okay? Um, journey. Okay? There is a journey um, that you guys could have started, or um, Spirit is saying the only the way... The, the way, only way I'm hearing this abundance can be unlocked um, if you're on this pathway. I don't see pathway, but I'm, I'm seeing pathway in my third eye if you're on this journey. So whatever journey you're embarking on, whatever journey you've been considering or thinking about, there's a lot of great fortune with the sudden wealth that's waiting for you. There was a thief somewhere behind the scenes, okay, trying to stop you, okay? There was a thief. I'm hearing somebody was like playing like the, the outer, like Somebody was just pretending, okay, to have your best interest. But there's something in you that, um, I'm getting a sun card in my third eye. You got enlightened to something. You could have felt this, um, you could have felt, um, you could have been feeling this type of way for a while now. I'm picking up on an indigo or star seed, someone who's, very smart, or someone who's very gifted, someone who's very intuitive, someone who just had just have a lot of special gifts. Um, you could have realized that you had these gifts around the age probably of this person. This child looks about could have been around 11, 12. You could have knew something was different about you. Mm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, message of concern. These people are getting a message of concern that things are changing. I feel like the only reason why these yeah, they concerned now. Um, only reason why these people were um, you know, blessed in any way was um with the only way these people were blessed was because you was around in the energy. Something about you has been enlightened, and now you're going on this journey. Whatever journey this is, is gonna bring you sudden world free fortune. You've been dealing with people that wanted to keep you in this poverty, 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 um, low vibrational energy. The spirit is saying, that's not your calling. That is not how you're, this is, your life is not meant for you to be in poverty. Mm. Yeah, I can't make it up. Look onto the bottom. Your, your life is gift. Accusation, official person, pathway, high honor. I cannot make it up. Your ancestors is trying to show you something on this pathway or this journey. You can expect a lot of gifts. You are this official person. Someone was trying to dim your light since you were a child to make you feel like, um, you know, you weren't worthy of um, having these great things. I'm hearing somebody say, well, you know, families, um, our family went through it, so you had to go through it too. But you are someone, you could be someone who's breaking some type of generational curse. You could have watched people in your a family or people that was around you, if it's not family, um, you know, suffer, um, live in a poverty, um, you know, a poverty um, lifestyle. That was never your lifestyle. You knew since like about either a preteen or a teenager that you was going to live a certain life. You knew you was destined to live a certain life. And even if you didn't know exactly how it was going to come about, you always fantasize about this certain life. You were manifesting this at a very young age. Someone knew you had a special gift. Someone was trying to end something. Somebody also could have been trying to block your intuition where you didn't get enlightened, where you didn't see something. But something is over. And these people are getting a message of concern. You got, met, you got two messages of concern. They are all in, they all in their head. Because whatever journey or pathway you have taken, mm, 
it has opened up the floodgates for you. You didn't need thoughts. Tore you in labor. No. You weren't you weren't supposed to be working hard. You weren't supposed to be working hard. Yeah. I can, told you you weren't supposed to be working hard. Come through Holy Spirit. Luther says, change and toil you in labor. Toil you in labor. Um, toil you in labor is somebody who's working real hard, busting their behind at a job. Change and toil you in labor. Something is changing. You are not supposed to work this hard at all. Let's put from the scoop bag. Yeah. Something is definitely about to change. So if you had any issues you was worrying, um, you could be seeing um, signs and symbolism. All of that is over with, Sun Seed. Yeah. Look at this. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. Meant to be upgrade. Clear your mind, relax. And bonding wanted to come out. It was meant for you to have this upgrade. It wasn't meant for you. Spirit said, clear your mind and relax. Okay, if you was wondering how I'm going to get it, you know, um, which way do I go? Or um, is this going to be my life? If I'm, if I'm going to always be struggling, or I'm going to always have um, problems with money, um, how I'm going to make it? Spirit said, no. Just follow the path that your ancestors are guiding you. My high honor is my ancestor, regard. That your ancestors are guiding you, okay? On this pathway, okay? Because this is this this is who you are, the official person. You've been that way since a very, very young age, okay? Holy Spirit, give me some more messages. Give me some more messages from my beautiful collective sun seeds. You can expect nothing but beautiful things, sun seeds. Somebody was trying to hold this back from you. Somebody was trying to keep you stuck. Yeah, somebody was trying to keep you stuck, missing peace. <laughs> wow. Somebody did not want you to piece things together. They didn't. It's some hidden clue you found. You realize that you you wasn't destined to live a poverty lifestyle. You found out who was stealing from you, who was holding you back, who was stealing from you. You found out. You got great fortune, sudden wealth, and gift. And my right hand is itching. You have wealth, a lot of wealth, Sun Seeds, is headed towards you because you chose to answer the call. When your ancestors called you to take on this call, to go through this path, go to this path, go on this journey, walk through this pathway to this light where they're there to enlighten you. You guys could be seeing eight, eight, eight. We got three eights out here. Abundance. When your ancestors guided you to go on this journey and walk this path of this transformation, there was something that was at the end of this, this real, this, this, this role that was promised to you and that was abundant. And this journey, this journey was about self, thyself. For you to go through it alone to experience certain things, okay? You are someone who is the generational curse breaker. You are going to help your family, other people, break these curses upon their life. You're going to show people just how you've done things. Whether it's one person at a time, as long as you're touching somebody. It was something that was important for you to see. I have two cards where lights just brightened. Like it was something that you needed to be enlightened about. And whatever that missing piece is, you found it. Because you are now seeing through the fog. Your vision is now clearer. This was your life. It was meant for you to have this upgrade. You did something that nobody in your family could do. But I also feel like I'm going to clarify that deep in Mexico, sir. I feel like there was somebody that was very close to you, knew that you had, you had the, I'm hearing promise. Wow. I'm hearing promise, but I was going to say the ability 
to break this curse. Somebody didn't want you to believe in yourself. Yeah, now they want somebody wants you. Somebody want to apologize. Thanksgiving, something could be very significant about Thanksgiving. Um, you could have probably had gotten an apology around Thanksgiving, or maybe this is how this person feels about you. Yeah, you um, you could be seeing a lot of angel numbers. Okay. Now there is somebody, um, somebody could be having um, some type of sexual fantasies about you, a new line of study. This could be somebody that's um, trying to do spell work, okay, to manifest you back in their life, okay? This person could be sending you sexual um, thoughts, sending you some type of sexual energy so you could think about them, reach out to them, call them. This is what this person is doing. And my nose just itch. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages before we clarify with the tarot, please, and thank you. They didn't want you to know this, come to you. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Be a performer. Manifest. So you could be a powerful uh, manifester. Somebody is just seeing you doing your thing. Somebody's seeing you doing your thing. And they, they, they had a breaking point. Because this person tried to hold you back. But your energy. You cleanse your energy and your aura from. Your, um, you purified your energy. Once you removed yourself. Somebody is like, I, I can't believe. I can't believe you doing it. You really doing it. Or you, if this is not you right now, Sunsees. This will be you. Take it how it resonates. But somebody was held back for a long time from their purpose. Somebody was called to be a generational curse breaker to help them, their family and to help plenty of others. And there was, there was um, I heard rays. So this could be somebody used rays. But they were attached to someone that was low vibrational. Okay, whether this was a relationship, a family, a friend, take it how it resonates to you. Okay, somebody you was attached to from a very young age, they tried to, uh, I'm hearing, a, um, they tried to kill your dreams. So this could be someone that you always showed these, shared these beautiful ideas, these dreams with. This person knew that you had a different type of mindset. Somebody was constantly trying to kill you. I'm hearing kill your shit. Like always make you feel like, you know, or you were just thinking too much. Oh, that could never happen. You see stuff like that on TV, that will never happen to you. No, you showed out. You showed out. And whoever it is, you could, this could have been somebody that you was in a relationship with that just fantasizing about you all in their emotions. Okay? Somebody is all in their emotions when it comes to this relationship. This could have been somebody who you shared your ideas with. You told them that you was going to be abundant. You got three eights out here with upgrade what meant to be. You told them. Somebody didn't believe in you. But look, there's somewhere... Look at this. Obsession. Something that's very significant about New Year's as well. Let's pull from the tarot. Sun seeds. With this purified cuffer season and submerging emotion, somebody who you felt that you was in a toxic connection with, okay, you decided to, um, you know, clinch your, clinch your energy. Mm. Yeah, you decided to clinch your energy. Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. Whoever you walked away from, I just seen the um, Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Whoever you walked away from, somebody is watching your dreams come true. I see it again. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Somebody, somebody wished. Somebody manifested this life at a very, very young age. At a very young age. Okay? Manifest and performer. Somebody's a powerful manifester. Okay? Powerful manifester. Somebody believed in themselves when they had no one else. Somebody is showing people that it's possible. 
that they can have whatever they want. But it took this one person, whoever you are, Sunsees, it took you to start this trend. It took you to show people that all you need is faith as a muscle seed. You did something big, Sunsees. Here go your wishes. Whoever this person you was in a relationship with, this person is sobbing. Sobbing, okay? Um, Spirit is also telling me um, for someone, you could have told this person about your upbringing. Maybe you had it difficult, you know, growing up. Maybe you come from a family where you didn't have much. You know, you just made the best of it, okay? Maybe you shared certain things with this person, okay? Maybe you shared certain things with whoever this person is. And somebody just did not believe that you was going to make it happen. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Your guides are guiding you to the wealth. Great Fortune. Two and six breaking down to an eight. Gift. One and seven breaking down to an eight. Pathway. Three and five breaking down to an eight. Tell me. Great Fortune, Gift, and Pathway. Tell me that's not somebody, guys, bringing them to Great Fortune. Y'all don't hear me, Sunseeds. I'm telling y'all. Do you hear me, Sunseeds? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Spirit said they ain't hear you. Ooh. They ain't hear you. Spirit, give me some messages, please, and thank you. Spirit said they ain't hear you. I feel like somebody needs a shoulder to cry on right now. Somebody's feeling real empty without you, Sunseeds, I'm picking up on Somebody feels real empty without you, Three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. This is you planting your seeds. Manifesting. Independent, strong, self-sufficient, hardworking. Building an empire, pre-empress. Just waiting for your ships to come in. Mm. Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands. Two of Cups. Setting up boundaries. Knowing your worth. When it comes to people who betrayed you. Knowing how to close that door when it's needed to be, when it's needed to be closed. Walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Focusing on what's important. Listening to your guides and your ancestors, what they want you to do. I see the world card in my third eye. Somebody is going to impact the world. Not only their children, not only their family. Somebody is going to impact the world. Holy Spirit, give me some more. Somebody who, who you was down for betrayed you. They did. Now this person is missing. This person feels empty without you. Everything they tried to do, it didn't work. This person tried to kill you their dreams. We have the judgment. And it fell out on seeing through the fog. Judgment with justice under the bottom. Now these people want to apologize. Things are going to be made fair. People are being people are being forced to go within. People are being forced to go through the spiritual awakening. Judgment has been called. Things are going to be made fair. Things are going to be made more balanced. We have Virgo Libra energy out here. Things are going to be made fair. Someone is about to get their karmic justice. Somebody also in their head about it. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, and Seven of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me, Sunseeds. <clears throat> Somebody that's on this path could be in their head, could be a little confused. They know they bring, they have, you know, they bring some type of, they have to bring some type of awareness to humanity. Okay? 
they could be confused about it. Someone could feel, you know, with this eight of swords, six of swords, you know, how, how, <clears throat> how is I'm supposed to do all of this alone? Where's my support? I know I have to bring this awareness. Whoever is feeling like this right now, I'm here to tell you, Spirit wants you to know that you're not ever alone. You have a spirit team, you have your ancestors, everybody rooting for you in the spiritual realm. Okay? If you done started this process already, finish it. And for the ones who been, you know, um, undecided, you know, about starting this journey, your ancestors let you know I got amazing things for you. They're waiting on you. <clears throat> okay? So I don't know who that was for, but I was called to say that. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages, please, and thank you. With the judgment and the justice and the page of cups, someone wants to apologize to you. Someone, you have two apology cards. Someone feels very apologetic, okay? The hermit. Three of Swords, Virgo Energy. Someone is very hurt. Yeah, with the Star card. This person could have known they, you know, they let you down in some type of way. But with the Star card and Two of Cups, the Two of Cups being here, somebody wants to heal a situation with you. Okay, somebody wants to heal a situation. They want to right their wrongs with you. Um, the Ten of Wands and the Devil card. Um, you could have felt like things were hard in the past. Um, maybe there was, um, some type of, um, toxicity, okay, that was attached to this person that was making it hard for you guys to see eye to eye. But with the Ten of Swords being here, I feel like that is over. Somebody is seeing these things differently now. Knight of Cups, okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, they got a lot of love for you. Okay, it could be um, Capricorn energies out here, but um, I feel like what it, it was something that was that was that was toxic that was standing in the middle that was making it for you, making it hard for you guys. Yeah, two wands, choices, paths. Um, maybe somebody was going down the wrong path one time in their life. Okay. And maybe this person couldn't, um, this could have been, you know, somebody who stole from you, who lied to you, who didn't believe in you. Because what does the man downstairs do? You know, they're a liar. They come to confuse, steal, take. Yeah, whoever this person was, they was taken from you. My nose is, mm. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Give me a card on the tennis sports, Holy Spirit. They want your forgiveness. They want to heal a situation with you. Somebody wants to apologize. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Ace of Wands. Somebody want a brand new beginning. They want to start over. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the truth. You're going to receive the truth and clarity. Yeah. This person held back from you. Whoever this person is that held back from you, they watched you a lot. This could be um, a father figure, a boss. Someone, um... Who held in high regards. Someone felt like they held back from you. They didn't pour into you. They didn't believe in you. Hmm. But all of that is changing, okay, Sunseeds? All of that is changing. I'm hearing the conflict, the drama, everything, everything. Spirit has called judgment. Spirit is called judgment. Spirit with the judgment and justice, whatever injustice that was done to you in the past, I promise you, in this lifetime, things will be made fair and it will be done correctly. And you will, you will be respected. You will be respected. And whoever these people is, with this official person, they cannot help but to give you your flowers. Give you your flowers. Just like you see this man with all these badges on him, you earn every last one of them badges. 
Spirit is not playing with you. I'm telling you. With this judgment of justice, spirit is not playing. The universe is blowing the horn. Okay? I just seen the King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Whatever you're doing for work, I, I, I'm just, I'm not, you know, it's going to be very abundant. You are going to get your karmic justice in this lifetime. Everything will be made fair. You will have this new beginning. Your past is your past. Whatever this person, whatever this thing tried to do in the past, nah, it's over with. It's over with. Somebody pray for this life. Give me a car on the um the devil. This confusion, lying, codependency. They ain't they don't even mm -mm. you ain't codependent on you're not those days of being codependent is over for you. Okay. Yeah. I told you. Them days of being codependent, okay? Being confused, lied to, mistreated. Mm -mm. Whoever this person is now, or whoever this energy is. Or whoever this, this spirit is. Because it's not even a, a person. It's a spirit that was on this person. Okay? Somebody, it was a spirit that was on them. But now they feel defeated. Okay? Eight of Wands. This person could, yeah. This person could have been waiting to communicate with you. For a lot of you guys, you have turned your back. Give me a card on the Eight of Wands, Holy Spirit. This person could have been waiting to you know, speak to you. Give me a card on the Eight of Wands, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Give me one second, son, see. Why y'all cars always flying? Why y'all cars always flying, son, see? Okay, so we have the lovers. Okay. So you could have had a choice to make. Okay. Um, yeah, with this cuff and seizure and, some, and somebody in emotions, you could have made a choice, decided to, um, you know, not heal, a, um, not heal a situation with someone. Maybe you made a choice to go towards another lover. Or this is how somebody feels towards you. Give me a card on the lovers, Gemini energy, Holy Spirit. Give me a card on the lovers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. The hangman, Pisces energy, Gemini, Pisces energy. Somebody's seeing things from a higher perspective. Um, somebody also could be regretting going towards um, another energy in the past and walking away from you, Queen of Cups. Somebody see you in this nurturing, loving, caring energy. Um, somebody is definitely in regret about the choices that they made in the past. Ace of Pentacles. They want to come in and bring you off it because they're seeing things from a higher perspective. They're seeing that you are the real deal. You are the truth. I'm picking up on a reconciliation. Somebody definitely wants to heal a situation with you. Somebody is making a choice. And their choice is you. Whoever this person is, this person could have been thinking about you around Thanksgiving. Somebody wants to, to apologize. Mm. Yeah. This person is coming in to offer you something. That's the true Queen of Swords. I'm hearing somebody want to surrender to this love. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, High Priestess, Four of Cups. Somebody could be in love with a High Priestess. Uh, maybe uh, what you do for work, you may use your intuition. Somebody feels... Um, Whoever this person is, they feel like um, you're not interested in a cup of love anymore. I'm also picking up, this person could have reached out to um, a high priestess, a tarot reader. Okay. Somebody could be um, asking for guidance or help from a tarot reader. This person could have reached out to a tarot reader for some type of assistance when it comes to this connection. They could, oh, yeah, thank you, spirit. This person is reaching out. I don't know, son, see, see, can I resonate you or your person, but somebody is reaching out to some, a tarot reader for some type of guidance when it comes to this connection. Yeah, six of cups, the past, seven of swords. Yeah, because whoever this person was, you don't trust them because they were sneaky to you in the past. There's something that happened in the past. 
They were sneaky. But King of Swords being here, Seven of Wands. I feel like there was some truth that was revealed to you and you could just be setting up boundaries, standing your ground. Give me a card on the um, seven, of, um, seven of Wands, Holy Spirit. Maybe you feel like this person uh, was not to be trusted. You feel like this person was a liar. Um, you could have found that this person was given to us another Six of Pentacles, given to another situation. Six of Pentacles with the lovers being out here. You could have found that this person was given to another situation. You know the truth. Yeah, Ace of Cups with the Four of Wands, the High Friend, the Empress. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Whoever this person is, they are in love with you. Somebody like, can we just start over? Can we start over? Can we start over? I want to give you the ring, the marriage, the home, all my love, all my support. Whatever you need of me, I'm here. I am here. I apologize for not listening to your dream. I apologize for not believing in you. I apologize for not being there for you. I apologize for not having your back. I apologize for being the snake and going up against you. When I knew deep down inside you was right, you was, you was honest, you was loyal. I apologize for going up against, uh, going up against you with other people. That's what I'm hearing. Ten of Pentacles with the tower. Somebody literally blew the hell up. The tower and Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could have definitely blown up overnight. Or somebody could definitely um thank you, Spirit, with this um somebody could have a major, major um success. This could already happen for you guys. Somebody literally is is going to have like, uh, I don't want to say overnight success, but that's what it's going to feel like. Upgraded mentally. The Tower and Ten of Pentacles. Mm. So whoever this reading is for, congratulations. I think you guys are amazing. Um, your ancestors are so, so, so very proud of you. Keep going. Um, I love